This video is going to walk you through the steps involved in adding some pretty cool effects to your text using the free image creator and editor called Paint.net. Now once you've downloaded Paint.net from GetPaint.net and installed it, go ahead and open up the program. And I've got mine set to automatically create the working area or the image canvas, but if you don't or if you want a different one, come on up here and click on New or go to File and click on New. Then make whatever size adjustments you want for your image canvas. But the one that's already here is fine for me. Now we want to create a new layer. Come on over here to the Layers box and click on the Add New Layer in the lower left corner. Come on over to the Toolbox and click on Text. And you can either make the adjustments after you type or before you type to the font style that you're looking for and the font size. And of course the font color too. Matter of fact, speaking of which, I'm going to go ahead and change the primary color, which is what the text is going to show up in, to red. And I want a little thicker font, so I'm going to go with the Arial Black. And I want a larger font, so let's go with 72. Go ahead and click up here in the canvas. And if for some reason you wanted your text to be absolute center, both horizontally and vertically, you can come on up here to Effects, go to Object Align, and select Center Both. There we go. Now my first effect is a drop shadow. Come on up here to Effects, go to Object, and go to Drop Shadow. Now that's not looking very pretty, but I do need to mention though that if you don't have that option available under Effects and Object, then you want to head over to the forum under Paint.net, and then scroll down a little bit till you come to the Plugins, go to the Plugin Packs, and install this plugin right here. Now that we've got to this point, I need to change my drop shadow color from red to more of a blacker color, and that's actually RGB, that's zero across the board. And you can make some additional adjustments here if you want the blur radius larger or smaller. And frankly, right now it's even across the board, and that's not really a shadow. A shadow is coming at an angle. For example, if the light's over here, and the shadow is going to be over here, like so. So make whatever adjustments you need to fit the bill for your project, but that'll work for me. Now at this point, what I want to do is apply some additional effects, but just to the text, not to anything surrounding it, like for example the drop shadow. I want to keep that intact, but maybe I want to add a gradient color to the text, or some other effect, but I don't want to mess up the drop shadow that I have. So with the layer 2 selected, as a matter of fact, you can also change the name of this to something a little more descriptive like text layer or whatever you want to call it by double clicking or selecting the properties down here. Come up here and just rename it like so. But make sure that's selected. Come on over here and in the toolbox, select the magic wand. You can also use the shortcut key on your keyboard by hitting the letter S as in Sam. And then come over here and hold the shift key down on your keyboard and select anywhere inside of your text here on any text and it will select all of the letters within your text but not anything outside of your text. So with this in mind you are now able to add whatever effect you want just to the text. Like for example the gradient. Select the blend tool or the gradient tool. Come on up here and select whatever gradient pattern you want. Now let's try the radial and let's change our secondary color to blue and yeah, let's go ahead and change the primary color to something else. Green. What a horrible combination. But anyway, it'll get the point across. And then somewhere in here we're going to select and then just move out or with this particular gradient selection, the linear. Come on in here and just move around until you find the one that you want. As you can see it did not affect anything outside of the text area. And if you do make a mistake anywhere in here you can come up here to the history box and just come back to wherever it was prior to that mistake you made. Now go ahead and move this text layer down into the background so we're making this one by clicking on the merge layer down button. Come on up here to the rectangle selection tool and want to select the area that we want to crop out or cut out so that we can save just this part of our image and not the whole thing. Be sure though that you're not flattening out any of the drop shadow. And then after you've made your selection, come on up here and click on Crop to Selection. Then come on up here to File, 
save as save it as a PNG if you want to make the background transparent otherwise I usually just go with the JPEG give it a name something other than untitled and you can adjust the quality and for me I usually go with 100% on the quality that does make for a larger file size so beware of that and then click on OK come on into where I saved it open it up and there it is and this is the end of the video on adding effects to your text using paint.net thanks for watching and you have a great day